What pisses you off? I don't know. What pisses you off? Dude, you know what's like my main thing that pisses me off? People that can't determine time. Bicyclists. Fucking people that go to fucking music festivals. Cigarette smokers. Weed smokers. Wow. Wow. Like at the end of the day, I'm not gonna go kill someone that rides a bicycle. It sounds like you are. No. <clears throat> like that thing that gets you wet at the end of the day, you know? <laughs> oh man. People that vape. Annoying as Losers. shit. Losers! Oh man, people that play music on their phones really obnoxiously out loud. Get some fucking headphones. They come free with every fucking phone that you buy. Lyft <laughs> slash Uber drivers. What? They're, it's a pet peeve. Like, the drivers? Yeah. Why? Jehovah's <clears throat> Witness. The, I go to church every Sunday person. The, yo bro, can I get some of your food? I hate that. So sharing is a pet peeve for you. No, because I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on it. There's people that are chronic with it. You know what I'm saying? That like, they'll always ask you. Damn, now I don't ever ask you for food again. My apologies for I'm getting hungry All right, around you. So, what's up, y'all? We're back. Dan the man. Surge the word. Having a good time today talking about some things that really, really bother us. Like our, our pet peeves. Pet fucking peeves. Just saying pet peeves pisses me off. So one of the things that we collectively agree on is bicyclists. People who ride their bike in downtown Chicago, who think they own the damn road, drive like no one's looking or anything like that. They can go into any aisle, get hit by cars, and who cares? And everything is, is our fault, us drivers. I can't stand them. I can't stand them. I can't stand them. I hope they get rammed by semi-trucks every time I see them. I wouldn't take it to that. No, shit. man! No! <laughs> but yeah, who do you think you are? Lance fucking Armstrong? Strong fucking lanes. <laughs> I would talk about vapors. And nothing pisses me off more than seeing people with vapes. Mm -hmm. It's like, who do you think you are? I have a cloud of lies. What, what do you get out of it? Let me tell you what I get out of it. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I'm not the <clears throat> skinniest guy in the world. But uh, yeah. I, uh, I love candy. I love sweets. I love chocolate. So, so, I got into it because it subtracted me away from the sweets. It's so like if I got a little urge or anything like that, I'd hit the crack pipe. That's the stupidest fucking shit I've ever heard in my it's, life. It's, <laughs> it's the truth, though. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. But I'll tell you what. How does the correlation between vaping and fucking candy it's is the taste. The stupid? Okay. So do, vaping. Is there, is there something you do to distract I you? I mean, from I something? haven't seen you lose weight vaping. <laughs> Your sugar intake is still as high as I've ever seen it. Well, no offense. I'll, I'll it. I still eat chocolate and candy all the time. Yeah. <laughs> So what else, Whatever, bothers you? What, what else bothers you about vapors? <laughs> That's about it right there, honestly. Just, you're alive, I guess. But fuck you guys. You know what bothers me? What bothers People you? who smoke weed. You guys, first of all, stink like a skunk. You leave a trail of nastiness. You guys act stupid and like, things don't matter. Look at me, I'm so cool. Life is good. I'm high as a cut. Shut up. Just, do, just live your life. Don't fucking put it out there for everyone to smell. I mean, you just don't get it. Explain. It just makes everything feel better. It makes sex better, it makes food better, experiencing anything better. Here's my thing about weed. It may be a pet peeve of mine, but I understand it's legalized in a lot of places and people love to do it, they enjoy it. Just get with the times. My group of friends, for the most part, all smoke. And whatever, it took me a while to get used to it, but I've accepted it. And I still don't like it, you no but choice, I accepted it. Yeah. You had no choice. People that buy candles. What? <laughs> what? Why? It's because sometimes like the fragrances are too strong. It's a candle. It's like, do I really need my fucking house to smell like strawberry kiwi? Yes. Yes. I guess, man. What do you sometimes want? Your house, what do you want your house to smell like? I don't know, man. Just give me some basic ass Febreze. The problem I have with Febreze is that you constantly have to spray it with a candle. So you gotta get one of those things that you just put the bottle in there and it's time. Then I feel like I'm in a public oh. restroom. <laughs> what? Because you ever go to a public restroom and whatever. I can't believe you don't like candles. I mean, there's a candle right there. <laughs> candles are, I mean, candles aren't the worst thing. You know, there's a levelness to pet peeveness. To the bottom of the scale. But I, I like candles. We could tell. You look like a fake ass cocaine dealer from Miami. Don't talk about booger sugar on the camera. Oh, you know what's another pet peeve? I, I'm guilty of this pet peeve. When niggas ask you for your Wi-Fi when you come to somebody's house. <laughs> what is that? I do it all the time. Exactly, that's what I just said. Like, I'm guilty of it. Like, when people do it to you, it's just, I don't know, like, people come to your crib and... and you know what's a pet peeve of mine? When people wear glasses and they don't need them? Who are you impressing? Oh, as we said earlier, festival people. Specifically. EDM concert. Sam? Like, I get it. If what the hell is Sam? get fucking lit as fuck, like, it's cool. It's an experience, you know? 
And it's cool when you do that shit when you're like, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. When you're fucking 31 and you're still fucking taking Molly's at Lollapalooza. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. We, I went to Lollapalooza once. Never been. Myself. I saw people, they were just obliterated. I see people shit on themselves. Yeah, Pat, that, like dead. Dead. Why do you want to get like that? I mean, then again, you've never experienced that before. I, I've never been. You've never been on a Molly before. No, never. Amazing. I've done it once. Just changed my life. Did you? Vegans. Oh, man. Vegans. I mean, Soy burgers, dude. I don't think we even have to elaborate on that one, to be honest. And, you know, no offense to people's food preference, like, at all. Like, if you want to eat fucking grass all day, cool. That's on y'all. But yeah. don't... Like, you know what? Actually, I, I take that back. I don't have a thing against vegans. I have a thing against people that, like, rub that shit in your face about it. Yeah. Like, oh, look at me, I'm a vegan, you're a piece of shit for eating meat. It's like, right. no, I'm not. See, yeah, that's, that's what I hate. I, I hate, fucking like meat. I hate these people. Who, sometimes I want to eat a cow, and I don't want to have to hear about it or feel guilty from these people who... You don't see, like, a lot of Mexican vegans? Like, there's, you just can't be Mexican and be a vegan. Like, how the fuck are you going to show up to a carne asada and not have carne asada? <laughs> you can't show up to a carne asada and ask for a soy burger. Your ass will get kicked out right away. Or you'll get made fun of by the family the whole fucking night. See, my people... Uh, Serbian and Croatian people. Yeah, my people. We roast <laughs> pigs and lambs as a celebration. That's God. fucking disgusting. Though. What? Now you're just throwing it at people's faces. Sure you guys really gotta fucking put them on the mm -hmm. little desk. That's just the best part about it is when it's freshly cooked and it's so hot and you just rip the skin off and chew it. Oh. <laughs> In my country, they call that carnitas. Carnitas is great. It's amazing. I love carnitas. For you white people out there. Go to Chipotle, get a carnitas bowl. It's not just white people. If you're black, Asian, non-Mexican, basically, carnitas is good. Okay, make me sound like the racist. What's the video at right now, minute wise? <sighs> Man, I'm watching an hour 15. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say it. Girls that don't swallow, dude. <laughs> no, I mean, I can't. <laughs> Seriously, dude. <laughs> it's like, you go down on them, and you're like, you know, you're taking in the fluids. <laughs> you're taking in the fluids. And you're cool with it. You're a fucking animal at the end of the day. And you're like going to town. But you're <laughs> telling me that when I'm done, you're not going to return the favor? Okay. Pet fucking peeve right there. Pet peeve, work related. I work in a customer service industry. My biggest pet peeve is when you talk to somebody and they just ignore you. Like absolutely walk right past you. It makes me want to grab them from the back of their shirt and beat them. Beat them. With a stick. Let me tell you something. People that can't calculate time, go fuck yourselves. Seriously. You know, it's funny coming from him. I've known him for a long time. And whenever I pick him up, I have to tell him when I'm a mile away. By the time I get to the house, he's still not ready. Oh, give me five minutes. That five minutes turns into 25 minutes. He's worse than any chick I've ever dated when it comes down to time management. Wow. Yeah. Pet peeve. Wow. You're just gonna take my pet peeve and then use it against me. Yeah, because you're the worst at it. I'm not. You, you are, 100%. I'm not. Pet peeve number 7022. Text somebody and they take forever to text back. And you know damn well that they're doing absolutely nothing and they can text you back. You know what's the best when they leave you on red? It's like, you know, shout out to those people. <laughs> like, to have the balls, leave that option on your phone open where you leave the delivery report or whatever they call it. When it says red, 8, 4, yeah. 18 p.m. or whatever. I shout out to the people that like leave that option on their phone and still and they know that you saw that shit and they still won't reply shout out to you that's not a pet peeve that just takes balls no that's, they're just single-handedly telling you fuck you i'm not replying to your message if you're ever sad just cut some construction paper i swear to god it'll cheer you the fuck up so i mean there's a plenty plenty of pet peeves out there and i know that while you're watching this you your, your mind's racing and thinking about all the things that bother you so hit the subscribe button. <laughs> there should be one right here.